Course Backup – Save and Reuse Your Course As a teacher, it's useful to have a copy of our course that we can keep safe outside of Moodle or perhaps reuse it in a different Moodle site, such as our organisation or school site, or add it to our personal Moodle Cloud site to continue developing it, or even give a copy to a colleague. Moodle calls this copy a backup, and to make a backup of our course, we need to go to the Administration block and click the link Backup. This is how you would save a copy of the course that you will have created for the Teaching with Moodle MOOC. When we click the link Backup, we need to follow the instructions to decide what exactly we want to bring over with our copy of our course and not. If you're an experienced Moodler, you can jump to the final step if you know what you're doing. But for us beginners, the first thing to know is that there are X's next to enrolled users and user information. This means that because we are teachers and for security reasons, we can only back up the actual course content, the resources and activities. We can't back up the information, the data that our learners have included. If you need to have a course with all of your learner data, then you need to have your administrator back it up for you. We basically want to include everything else. And so we scroll down and click Next. On the next screen, we're presented with a list of all our activities and resources and we need to decide which ones we want to include. By default, all of them are selected. So, for instance, if I didn't want to include an item, I could untick, uncheck that box, and again we scroll down. And once we've decided which activities we want to include and leave out, we click the Next button. We are then prompted to check all of our settings. Our backup course has been given a file name, which we can rename if we want to, or leave it as it is, and we scroll down to make sure that all the settings and included activities are the ones we want. If we made a mistake, we can simply go back to the previous screen and change it. Now it's time to click the button to perform the backup, and we get a message that the backup file was successfully created, and clicking the Continue button will take us to where we can get a copy of the backup file to download it and save it offline. If we scroll down, we see our User Private Backup area, which tells us the course and the size of it and the time that we actually backed it up. So if you want to get this out of Moodle, to save, for instance, on your computer, a CD or a USB drive, you click the Download button and save it. To add your course into a different Moodle site, such as Moodle Cloud, watch the video on Course Restore.